we went to the same school, so um, I guess we met at, at school. But the first time I remember was uh, training along the the canal, the Schelde, where we always met for training rides. And uh, there, I, I he he came riding next to me and said like, uh, "Hey, I'm uh, I'm Water. We're in the same school, uh, and I'm also a cyclist. He just uh, just started. He came from athletics, and he asked if we could." Uh, if we could train together, or if it would be it would be nice to train together, and I was a little bit older, um, and I was uh, as a track rider a little bit known because I was Belgian champion, and uh, the first time he was like uh, a little little skinny boy, totally different than uh, when he was older or in, in his career. He became a really big boy sprinter. But before he was actually like uh, more like a climber, and uh, he came and asked me like, "Hey, can we train together?" It was really ever if I told the story afterwards, he was always angry when I said it because he said, "No, no, it wasn't like that." Afterwards, he was a, a tough guy and didn't want to be remembered of that. And uh, we had we had good good times at school and. Uh, and especially on, on training because uh, we lived close to each other and we did the same sport and we had the same interests so we spent so many hours together not only on the bike but also afterwards drinking drinking something in the city or go shopping just went playing uh, table football things like that just uh, things that uh, kids do eh? We, we became the same year professional, but I was with uh, with Top Sport Vlaanderen, and, and he was immediately with Quick Step. So he was one one step ahead of me, and it was uh, thanks to him that I could come to the to the Quick Step team. But we all, we were only uh, teammates teammates one year. Um, then he went to to Leopard. Uh, but of course we we trained together and and the training camps together did almost everything together and that's what I miss uh, just was like a soulmate and then uh, the talks we had on training the just the long hours on the bike that we that we spend and and made it so much more more fun and make the, the time go so much faster and now the long rides alone are the really long long rides Everywhere I come, we I have have memories, and, and everybody still talks a lot, a lot about him, which is normal. But also, when I'm training alone, every corner I take, we 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 did so many rides together. We, we had uh, fun, but also hard times together. And uh, yeah, the memories. That sometimes it's it's good, but sometimes it's also really hard. But I saw it on television. I remember I was, I lived in in Sledingen that that time, and I was sitting on on the couch in front of the big TV. And uh, Aunt Sophie just got home, and I was like yelling and screaming in front of the TV, like he's gonna win, he's gonna win, yeah! I remember like going completely nuts, um, yeah. And then afterwards, when I had him on the phone. He asked me why I wasn't there, and I was like, "Shit, yeah, Middleburg from from sledding, especially that's like really not so far." Yeah. But I've seen it on on, on TV. I, I saw it, and had, uh, it's a good memory. Of course, I will think about it. It's uh, it's always in my mind, every every day, every I can't say every minute, but it's like. Constantly, and uh, but you cannot think about that too much in the race because then you can't do your job. Tomorrow, I think about the stage. I think about Kev putting him, putting him in the best position for the sprint, and I hope we can win. And that will be much more important. Think about that. Do that good. Then uh, and after the race, think about water. And before the race, think about water. But not during the race. If I think about it too much, I won't won't work.